three big plays. You know, really at the end of the day, it was it was three big plays that caused touchdowns. I think the difference in the Duke game was we had the one play over 20 yards. Mm -hmm. You know, and not for right. a touchdown. So, right. you know, I think I think if if we do that. We don't if we don't if we eliminate explosive plays like and again I think Georgia Tech I don't remember their, their big play but they might have had one over 20 yards too as well they had one pass I think back right. up so you know when, when you do that you're gonna keep you're gonna keep the points down because it's, it's hard for the offense to keep going you know the drives that do converted it was because of third down you know that they they, they blessed they blessed they blessed but we had three we had three third downs that we gave up uh, on that drive and they ended up scoring so it's kind of a factor of that if we can eliminate the explosive plays. And, and uh, you know, get off the field on third down. We've been really good in the red zone, so you know, it's it's a long, make it a long process and mm -hmm. make it hard. You know, mm -hmm. make the guys come away with a missed field goal or make them come away with a field goal, take points off the board. We've given up that big play, it hasn't it hasn't looked as good. So eliminate that explosive, we obviously keep you know, keep the points down. But uh, you know, I think. You know, I'm pleased with it. I think even in you know Virginia game, we gave up that one play uh, on a blitz that they, they made a nice play on. Uh, but that was the only touchdown in the second half of the Virginia game. We gave up one touchdown against Duke in the second half, and we gave up none against Georgia Tech. So, uh, you know, positive positive deal going forward. You know, three games with two touchdowns in the second half, I think, is a real positive. What do you think about FSU's offense, and especially Manuel? He's as big as yeah. he's actually bigger than most yeah. linebackers. Yeah. Right? yeah, no, he's a lot like our guy. Uh, you know, from, from uh, Virginia Tech, you know, in that in that regard, really big quarterback, 240 plus pounds, so great athlete, uh, and uh, has done a really good job. And, and they're clicking right now. I mean, they have got a lot of weapons, a lot of speed, doing a good job up front, got playing multiple backs, playing a lot of young guys, good players inserted in there. So uh, it's a it's a big challenge for us, and I hope one one that our guys are excited about. But a tremendous challenge. No sacks in the last two games, uh, Mark. Is that a, a product maybe of a short passing game, getting rid of the ball real yeah. quick, or, or are you not getting the pass rush that you you'd well, like? Well, we're not we're not getting the rush we want. I'm never going to make excuse that the ball's out quick. We got we got to get after the quarterback. I think we had a couple of hits, but but uh, we certainly you know Duke Duke steal, um, you know quick strike passing game. I mean, they want the ball out in 2.5 seconds. So uh, that emphasis in that game was really I wanted to try to bat, bat down balls and get some QB hits. I didn't know how many sacks we were going to get, but I did want to I did want to be close. I did want to be able to hit the quarterback. I did want to bat some balls down. We didn't, we're not batting enough down right now. Um, you know, we're just not. And, and uh, you know, those are the frustrating plays to offenses that we have to make. You know, it's first and 10. They, go the front, they got an open window. They think they got a receiver, and you bat a ball down in the second and 10. It's a frustrating it's a frustrating play. So. Mm -hmm. We've got to do a better job with that. So, uh, guys have to understand the situation. You know, it's it's, it's third down, and three to six, and the ball's coming out quick. You know, don't be running up the field past the quarterback. The ball's coming out. You know, your hands make up. progress towards the quarterback and bat the ball down. You know, so we're teaching all these guys all this FBI stuff and understand. You know, when I say FBI, I say football intelligence. Understand the situation. Understand what you're doing. It's third down and three. You're not going to get a sack. Right. Right. <laughs> you know I mean? But you can bat a ball down, etc. So, uh, you know. I think we need combinations of both of those. We need more pressure on the quarterback, and we need more bat downs. So in short, Mark, uh, much more satisfied with the defense now than you were maybe, let's say, a month ago or so? Or Well, I mean, you know, again, it's it's been, uh, you know, uh, at the end of the day, you know, defense is uh, about points allowed. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you can say everything that you want, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's about points allowed. Right now, you know, we're, we're, we're I think we're 21 points a game. Uh, you know, two touchdowns were in the Maryland game for – their defense that, right. that they tag on, so we're really like at 20. Mm -hmm. I think that's where they were last year. Mm -hmm. If you want to look at the, look at our team, our team's a lot different than last year's team. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm looking at that. I'm looking at the bottom line is points allowed. Do we have to get better? Yes, we have to get better. We have to be more consistent. We have to tackle better. We have to get guys to do their job. We got to get better on third down. We have a ways to go mm -hmm. in my mind. Third down. But you know, at the end of the day. There's, there, there must be some plays that are going right if, if we're keeping the points at that at that level right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you know, we're better than uh, our points are better than nine other teams in the ACC. So we just, we just keep trying to improve. Hey Mark, what worries you most about Florida State's offense? <laughs> you, at which hour? At which hour of the night? When I wake up at one o'clock? When I wake up at two o'clock? When I wake up at three o'clock? I mean, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot to be worried about. You know, I'm, but uh, no, they're, they're they're really good. You know, and, and uh, you know, as, that's what we do as defensive coordinators. You worry about every 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 week. Um, but they do have a lot of talent, and they're balanced. You know, they're balanced. Their their run game is picked up here in the last four weeks. They run the ball really well. You know, and on top of being able to throw it, and uh, they got a lot of weapons. They they can spread you out. There's not going to be you really go ahead and say, okay, we're going to lock in on this guy. So, uh, you know, it's a, like I said, it's a great challenge. One that our guys are excited about. The opportunity to play in the Miami Florida State game is, is why you're here. Mark, I was going to ask you, have you gotten a sense from the kids or, or, or people around the, the community about how big this game is to 
you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, you only have to be a college football fan. I was, before I was a coach, I was a fan. You know what I mean? You only have to be a college football fan to, to appreciate, uh, you know, this rivalry. And, uh, you know, I've always been a college football fan, so I mean, you know, my Florida State has been a, it's been a great rivalry forever. So, you recall any game in particular uh, as a fan? Or? I want to keep I, I just look for somebody, you know, like Mike Barrow, you know what I mean? Mike Barrow, and the uh, fan over the joke with Mike about that the other day. But, but uh, no. you know, just, you know, uh, again, you could feel it, you know, and again, coming off of a win, you know, I think we played pretty well, and, and I think everybody's excited, so uh, there's a there's palpable energy about this game, you know what I mean? You know, especially after the game, you know, coming in a lot of you know, yesterday, guys just being out here this morning so you know it, it, it's you can definitely sense you know and I guess as the game gets closer you know obviously that'll build up more but right now we're just you know we're going about our business like we always do and just preparing the same way it's the same type of periods we're running our defenses against their plays and we're trying to get ready for the game. Thanks Paul. Can I ask you which aspect you know including tackles and linebacker safeties cornerbacks which aspect of that you're happiest with so far this year and then which area which of those groups you'd like to see really step up the most especially for a game like this right now? Well I think I think the linebackers, I think, you know, obviously you start with Spence and he's been the best player on defense. So um, I think you start with Spence. I think Jimmy Gaines has been solid for us. Um, you know, I think Futch is, has executed his role. You know, I don't think he's been flashy, but he's been steady. And again, if, if, if within doing what we're asking him to do within the defense, he's executed it better probably than I anticipated. And I think Perryman has, has obviously been a, not a surprise, but I thought, I know he had talent, but you know, he's played more like a veteran. So if you just look at those four, I think. I think that group has been probably uh, probably the best. You know, um, you know, defensive line has been so many different guys shuffling. It's really it's really hard to uh, hard to get engaged. Those guys have all been playing different positions, different starters every week. It's been it's been uh, it's been crazy. So you know, I think that's hurt them a lot. Um, you know, uh, DB. You know, I think we, we, you know, again, I was pleased with the fact that we gave up one pass over 20 yards against Duke. I think that's big. I mean, if guys are just doing their job and doing what we're asking them to do, you know, it's eliminate explosive plays. And we've given up a lot of points and we've lost games when we've given up explosive passes. Mark, so if we eliminate that, we, I think we can play pretty well. I don't know what rivalry games mean to kids. Is it possible for coach not to get a little bit of a rivalry game? Oh, I, I, I think so. There's no, there's no question. I, I think. Uh, like I said, there's, there's always going to be a little extra something. I want it to be different. It was different when you know I was playing at Penn State and we were playing Notre Dame or we were playing Alabama and we were playing Miami. I mean, it was a little bit different. You know what I mean? And, and that's good. That's good. Um, this EJ Manuel, what, can you compare to any other quarterback you've got against? What you know? What's he going to be like for your team? Yeah, I mean, it's in stature and, and mobility and, and arm, he's he's similar to. Uh, Guy at Virginia Tech, you know Thomas, you know. So I mean, I mean, they're, 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 I think they're similar in that regard. I think anybody can make that uh, as an obvious uh, deal. You know, big, strong, athletic guy who presents problems in, with, with the ball in his hands and, and can throw it. So uh, tremendous challenge, tremendous challenge. Thanks, Mark. Okay. Thank you.